heated battle in Montgomery tonight all over this heated question. Should insurance companies be required to cover therapy for people with autism? 45 states have requirements, but Alabama does not. Lawmakers are debating legislation that would shift burden of funding expensive therapy from the schools to the insurance companies. Our Ben Nanny is finding this issue affects more than just the people with autism. I ran into Brianna Isbell today while she was working. She tells me she's never had an insurance plan that paid for therapy for her autistic son. I think someone that's trained in that field would be better to help him with that than for us to just figure it out on our own. The school has usually done that, but now that she's homeschooling, Isbell pays for therapy if her son needs it. House Bill 284 would require insurance companies to cover the costs of treatment and therapy for people with autism regardless of age. It would also require the Department of Insurance to take the lead and file an annual report on the costs of doing this. For other families, um, as well as if we needed those services in the future, I think that insurance should cover it. Senate Bill 57 would deal with the issue differently. It would require the Department of Mental Health to cover costs up to age 9 and use money from the education fund. It's not clear what role insurance companies would play. Currently, school districts statewide are retooling their special needs programs to find funds for therapy and treatment, which can cost hundreds per hour. Student Junior Villegas says he wonders why his school is bearing so much burden. You know that they're not getting treated by, uh, by uh, a medical, like... Medicine, well, it just like, is sad. It should be covered. Opponents of the restriction-free House Bill 284 said this week in a hearing that the bill needs restrictions, and the way it's currently written, they see it as a new tax. Ben Nandy, WZDX News. And meanwhile, the Republicans plan to repeal...